Hello, John Hamden. Uh, I've got a story for you that we shared in yoga, the koala who could. In a wonderful place at the breaking of dawn, where the breezes were soft and the sunshine was warm. A place where the creatures ran wild and played free, a koala called Kevin clung to a tree. A nicer grey fellow you never could meet, as soft as a soft thing from ear tufts to feet. His favourite way to relax in the sun was to cling and to nap and to munch a leaf bun. He was terribly good at all of these three things. Yes, Kevin was king of the staying still king. You see, high up was safe since he liked a slow pace, while the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast and too loud and too big and too strange. Note Kevin preferred not to move, not to change. So he clung to his tree and he knew how to do and was never too keen to try anything new. So when Wombat stomped by and shouted one day, Hey Kevin, why don't you come down here and play? Mm, I think he replied, I should stay on my plant. I'm busy right now. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Why not, cried the rules, who liked the idea. Yes, why, said the dingoes, you've nothing to fear. But Kevin, who wasn't the do things too quick sort of chap, said I'm clinging to do, but thanks for that thought. As Kevin was watching them chatter and share, a part of him wished he could join them down there. But he knew he'd miss home in the dark and the tree. The whole thing was risky and adventure could wait. Whatever the invite, he'd always say no. Oh dear, it seemed Kevin just couldn't let go. So his life was the same, no matter the day. The weeks came and went and the months rolled away. And Kevin stayed still while the world moved around until he awoke to a worrying sound. Tap, tap, tap. The sound went well. This was a blow. Oh, no. Uncling, said the crowd. The crowd clawed as they gathered below. Leap and we'll catch you. Just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared. Let go. No, I shan't. I won't. He clung on. Oh, Kevin, oh dear. I just can't. Oh, no. Down came the tree with a cracking and a pinging, crash and a wallop with Kevin still clinging. Kevin carefully opened one eye. He looked at the love staring down from the sky. Then one claw by one claw he slowly unclung. He felt springy and light and happy and young. The worst he could think of had now come to pass and he was just fine while well, he felt quite first class. So when Wombat held out the most welcoming paw, Kevin, he didn't hold back any more. When Dingo asked, now will you come out to play? The crowd all joined in with a what do you say? And even though this wasn't part of his plan, Kevin replied, yes, I think I can. And Kevin from then on was always can do. Because life can be great when you try something new. So keep trying, don't give up, you can do it.